part four of our series, Building the App MVC Couch. For the last three tutorials, we've really been digging into lots of code, and maybe our head is swimming by now. In this tutorial, 4.5, we can slow things down a bit and focus in on just one thing, creating a CouchDB view function. So what is a CouchDB view? Well, if a CouchDB database is just a stack of documents, you can imagine after a million documents are stored in your database how messy that could be. CouchDB views are a way of looking at all your documents in an organized way. Just like relational databases that use a structured query language to query a normalized database, CouchDB uses views to query a couch database. One of the only differences being that instead of needing to learn and use a query language like SQL, you can use a programming language to query your couch database. Out of the box, CouchDB provides JavaScript as the programming language to create views. So basically, CouchDB views are an index of all your documents. They're read-only, and you can have as many views as you want. You're not limited to just one way of organizing your documents. Now, the programming technique that CouchDB uses to create views is called MapReduce. CouchDB uses map functions mainly to organize your documents into lists and then reduce functions to do some analytical calculating on those lists to show further statistical information. MVC Couch does not use reduce functions at all, so we won't focus on them. We're going to focus in on map functions. That's what we're going to create for our MVC Couch application. So what is a map function? A map function is basically a simple JavaScript function that organizes all your documents into lists of key value pairs. And as you may recall from previous tutorials, views are stored in CouchDB design documents. And as we can see here in Futon, this is our map function for the only view we're using in MVC Couch. Now you could use Futon to create your own views and create your own map functions, but we're using Couch App to do all that work for us. So what does the view and the map function look like in our Couch App folder structure? Let's take a look at that. As you can see here, we're looking at the root of our MVC Couch folder that's found in our Couch Apps directory. We're not in the attachments section where all of our ext.js4 application code is. But we're out here in the root where our Couch App information is. So this is where we define our folder pattern so that Couch App can properly use folders and files to create this view object that we see in Futon. So let me just show you how that works. Here we have a folder named Views. And of course, this is talking about CouchDB views, not MVC views. And this folder here corresponds with this property, Views, in our design document. Then we drill in, and we see a subfolder named Region. That's the name of our view. And that corresponds with this value here, Region in our design document. We drill in again, and we find a map function, map.js, and that corresponds with this map function that we see in our design document. So if you follow this folder structure, then Couch App will be able to properly publish your CouchDB views to a CouchDB design document. Let's go ahead and look at map.js in our text editor. So here we see how simple a map function really is. Map functions always have only one parameter passed to them, and that parameter will always be doc. So this is what a map function will always look like. Now inside the map function, we can use JavaScript to formulate our query any way we see fit. For this query, all we want to do is use another built-in CouchDB function called emit to emit a list of documents. So we're basically just saying if there's a document ID, which there always will be, emit a list of key value pairs where doc.group or the field group is the key and doc.region or the field region is the value that make up the key value pairs of our list. 
Now you can view the results of this map function in a browser by pointing to this URL. Each object returned in the view will always have at least three properties. There will always be an ID property that contains the ID of each document and then it'll have the key property that we defined. So these keys are all of the values of the group name. Optionally you can also have a value property. So here we see our value is defined as the region for all our user groups and that's what we see here. Now you'll notice in our URI that we can also pass parameters to our views and here we're passing the parameter include docs equals true. So in our view results we see another property named doc and so it's also passing the entire document object with each row in our view results. So that's all our map function is doing and you can see how simple it is to set that up. So where are we referencing this function in our MVC couch application code? Well you may recall when we defined our doc model we set up an API property within the proxy configuration. You can see here that the read property is configured to read in data to our application by means of a CouchDB view. Here we see the database is MVC Couch. We're referencing a design document. The name of the design document is design slash MVC Couch. We're going to traverse to the view property in that design document. The name of the view is region, as we had earlier defined. And then we're passing this include docs parameter, setting it to true so that it'll include the entire document with each row that's returned in our view list. So every time our application does an HTTP GET request, CouchDB will return an array of objects just like you see here. So that's how easy it is to set up a CouchDB view and set up a map function for that view and also to set it up so that Couch App can push the view to our CouchDB design documents. That concludes tutorial 4.5 in our series. Our next and final tutorial will focus on actually using Couch App to push our application to CouchDB. We're also going to demonstrate the power of SDK tools and show you how to build a minified version of our application using JS Builder and other tools provided by Sentia. So I look forward to sharing that and I hope to see you then. Have a great day.